In this video, the light color will be color A, and the dark color will be color B. So, what we first do is with both colors held together, color A to the right and color B to the left, wrap the yarn counterclockwise around two needles four times as per figure eight. So that's what I'm going to do now. This is one wrap, two wraps, three wraps, four wraps. This is your tail. This is your working yarn. What you have essentially just done is cast on 16 stitches. I know it doesn't look like it, but it's true. These eight loops over the top of the needle are eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And these eight loops along the bottom needle are the other eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the first thing you need to do is knit into the first stitch on the top loop with color A. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to stick the needle in here in between the top and the bottom needle. All right. Now, what you want to make sure that you don't do is lose these wraps, these wrapped loops that you had at the bottom needle. So you want to make sure that you're taking the working yarn, bringing it under the bottom needle, and up around. So we're knitting with color A. Right. Pull it through and bring it off the top needle, but you have to keep it on the bottom needle, right there. Now again, we've sort of lost the color B loop on the bottom here, so I'm going to bring it up and over. And because this is double knitting, we have to bring both strands to the front, and we're going to purl into the next loop on the top needle with color B. Now I apologize for my thumb sort of getting in the way here, but it's necessary in order to hold all the wraps in place. So now we're going to move everything to the back again. You can see we've got two stitches on the top, but we've maintained the loops on the bottom. And now we're going to knit into the next stitch with color A. Bring it around. Purl with color B. Knit with color A. Pearl color B. And this is our last set. Knit with color A and pearl with color B. Making sure that you don't actually lose this last loop because it's, it's all loose because nothing's really holding on to it. And I'm going to move the working yarn back to the back of the work to try and secure things as much as possible. So what we have now is eight clearly worked stitches on your top needle and eight loops ready to be worked on the bottom needle. So as per the instructions, you turn the work upside down. All right, here's your tail. Well, get that out of the way. And here is your working yarn. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. Knitting with color A, purling with color B. Only this time, you're knitting into loops of color B with your color A yarn and purling into loops of color A with your color B yarn. Okay. So, knitting with color A, bringing the yarn around, purling with color B. Knit with A. Come on. Purl with B. Knit with A. Purl. Oop, looks like I've gotten my working yarn wrapped around a little bit. Purl with B. There. I'm going to move the working yarn back to the back again. 
and you will see that you have successfully completed a cast on for a closed tube and double knitting. You've got eight stitches here and eight stitches here. You're ready to turn the work around and start working in the round. This right here is your first stitch of your first round. Now, I like to divide my double pointed needles among three and have one working needle and I like um, the first of my DPNs to have half of the stitches on them, the second to have a quarter of the stitches on them, and the third to have the final quarter of the stitches on them. So I will divide them like that and start doing row one, or round one, of the hat. See? We're all set to go with knitting in the round. Now the first row of the pattern is basically knit one with color A, purl one with color B, and repeat that sequence all across the row. So that's what I'm going to do here. Purl with color B. And remember, you're moving the strands, both strands, back and forth prior to each stitch. See the tail of the yarn is making itself into a nuisance. Okay, move to the next needle. And start again knitting with color A and purling with color B. I'm going to pause the video while I finish off the round and then come back to you. There. And now you have uh, something which actually looks like something. You've finished your first round and it looks like this and you're ready to keep going with round number two. The figure eight method is very similar to the wrap method, except that you're securing things in between the two needles as you go, like that. And there you have it.